Hi guys, you're watching GT channel. I'm doing Maraudon the Wicked Grotto. There are quite strange glowing purple things sticking out of the wall in this dungeon. And I get myself a fierce quest. Kill Lord Wild Tongun. I guess it's like in most of the dungeon the quests are like kill the boss. So this is the same and I need to kill a boss. I'm doing this dungeon like always for the first time I have no idea where we're supposed to go so like always I just gonna be following my party members and they're gonna show me the way where we need to go so now we are killing these strange strange looking creatures they have quite big horns what are they are they like uh, goat people or what putridus satir quite strange <laughs> creatures so the tank asks uh, short, short way or all mobs so I guess we're gonna be doing all the mobs and this dungeon is insanely huge it took us about uh, about 30 minutes to completely finish this dungeon and I don't even know did we like kill it all the bosses or not so there's gonna be a lot of trash mob skipping so yeah I, I just already like skip it some of the a lot of trash mobs was in our way now we have to kill these goat goat people or whatever the hell they are satyrs and they are little poison sprite what what are these like goblins or what the hell are these strange creatures The boss, the first boss in this dungeon is this little goblin, like this little goblin that is out of the out of this place. He has 30,000 HP. He cast one of the spell is like this goblin dragon gun that shoots fire out of his hands or what the hell? And he throws randomly at some of the people like bombs. He throws bombs. Pretty cool, like what the hell a little goblin does in Marodon. I don't have really idea because other other creatures are like gold people trees like trees like what the hell a tree trees sprites and a goblin boss he dropped a mega shot rifle but my bow is still way better so I'm gonna go and grid on it because I don't really need that gun so now more more trash mobs to kill more, more of these satyrs and sprites <laughs> why the hell is a sprite is like a uh, carbonated drink sprite okay now we're gonna head up the stairs for the second boss but first like always you have to clear the three people deep root angler it has like quite quite nice animation that three that three guy when he dies it like gets like a uh, chop it down like a tree like a real tree this looks like this is the quest mob that I got that quest from the beginning of the dungeon the Lord Wild Tongue well, I guess uh, this goat has a wild tongue by the name of it Oh, he has quite big dodgers. Well, maybe they just look that big because he is quite a huge, quite a huge uh, uh, satyr. He has like uh, the the first boss. He has 30,000 HP only, and he casts uh, like mass mass stun, I think. Yes, he casts this like uh, sleep smoke bomb. Yes, smoke bomb. You get like stunned for a few seconds and he like teleports I guess. But he didn't have like a chance to do that. He dropped some male item. Damn that quite nice pens but damn it it's male. Why why it's not a letter? So I'm gonna grid on it. And I'm gonna go and finish the quest, the first one that I got. Now we're gonna go and head future into the dungeon first kill some of these some of these damage this dungeon is insanely huge so now we are heading in this like 
toxic swamp or what waste. Of course we just killed shitload of mobs on our way to here. I just like skipping the that part, the trash mob part. And someone pulled the slimes. Damn it. Why did why did someone pull the slimes? These uh, slime monsters are quite powerful. I guess when they die they release this uh, poison clown that does quite nice dot damage. Like you look at that like minus 96, minus 96. If you like uh, kill all of them at the same time and you stand in this like poison cloud, you can y your HP can go down super fast. So it's better to avoid standing in poison clouds. And it looks like we are approaching the next boss. That uh, that green horse or whatever the hell that is. It looks like uh, some kind of centaur, I guess. This boss has 27,000 HP, he casts uh, nature spells like red and some other ones root, it, it roots uh, some of the random people and he, I think he summons, yes, he's gonna summon some more of these three people that gonna help him to attack us. But still he doesn't have a chance against this party. His HP is going down very fast, and yet he just summoned these trees, additional trees to help him fight us, but they are an elite, so they quite easily to die, and the loot is again some shitty, some shitty fist weapon, like what the hell, I'm quite unlucky in doing dungeons, like most of the dungeons, like stop at dropping uh, some of the like rogue items, they always don't drop any items for me, like letter, like dodgers or bows but maybe that's just because I'm unlucky or what so like okay we are heading now and there's like a strange little rock here like what the hell is this rock it's just stands here and it shines pretty strange and look at that there's the turtles small turtles around I guess we have to jump down from this waterfall by the looks of it so yeah the party members are jumping down so I gonna be doing that the same gonna use my sprint ability and run on the water and I already see the some kind of hydra three headed hydra and I get quest a new quest kill princess Teradras like what the hell is that creature is that a princess she gonna give me quite a nice pants 10 agility 15 stamina so okay, gonna accept it and go on this heater, shadow step and bam, I get like blown away, like what the hell? Did this Hydra just like uh, hit me with his tail and like I got, got flight into the air or what? So now we are heading up to kill this uh, extra boss. And oh my god, just look at the size of these rock people. Like, oh my god, they are super huge and they have quite a lot of HP, like 11,000 HP that's like uh, one third of the boss HP in these dungeons so I guess they are like a, like a guards they are guarding the boss and yeah, the, the next boss is uh, like uh, behind those behind those like boulders so here he is, another huge giant, giant rock, the landslide, he has 36,000 HP and he is very huge and he has quite a lot of variety of like spells, but for some reason I just like took the aggro, so one of the spells that he casts is landslide, it uh, stuns everyone in the place like for five or six seconds I don't really know and again I just took the aggro he summons these little little rock guys that come help him attack us and I guess uh, well I think he still like throws boulders at us or not I don't really know about that but his HP goes down again like most of the bosses here he's going down fast 
and we I get quite a nice X from even from these little guys like from those little rock guys so yeah, he has 1000 HP and he's dead and again he drove some shitty item it's kind of like gl globe or what guess for a caster it's pretty nice or not so now we have to go all the way down because we just like took our time and gone to kill that extra boss so the final boss we are now approaching the final boss the princess and I gonna get my new pants by killing this boss it's pretty cool that I killed this like uh, a little huge rock guy and three more little small ones that just like pop out of that big guy like a baby rock so why the hell did, did I just like took that gray shitty item Okay, now we have to like uh, again kill this like huge giant rock guys they're like guardians of the princess I guess or maybe not or maybe they're just like staying in there I don't really know but these uh, rock guys uh, they give quite a nice experience when you kill them like 427 exp just for killing one of these huge guys that's pretty nice at least for me I'm like the highest level in this uh, group so yeah now we just kill it, the final one and now we are gonna go and head for the princess oh my god just look at her look how beautiful she is like what the hell there's like a there's like a, a light no a sun sun shining here flowers grow and there's like a beautiful princess walking here he has almost 44,000 HP and the tank just like ask it to, so the DPS waits like few seconds before we go attack so he can get the threat he has trouble uh, by like holding the threat and this prince is like farts like what the hell he farts and we like got push it away from her that's pretty weird and she has she has four hands, like what the hell is this thing? And by the looks of it, if I'm not mistaken, it looks that way to me that she has like four eyes too. This is like a mutated, mutated princess or what the hell? I have no idea. And then this farting ability is quite annoying. Like you get blown away, she, she throws some boulders at random targets and she farts and the last spell that she uses is the fear god damn it like how can you get like so mutated in this dungeon okay we just got feared and we get like farted away very annoying and yes the tank is having like trouble by maintaining the maintaining the threat but he still quite manages so we don't have the problem by to taking this taking this ugly creature down and again he goes the farting farting mode but she has like 2000 HP 2000 uh, HP left <laughs> oh my god look at my HP I have like 1000 left but we still took her down I got my achievement she dropped some crappy ring and some neck I'm gonna grit on it gonna go and get my only good reward from the quest the pants so this was the Maraudon the wicked grotto gonna keep my pants and thanks for watching bye